Iran's President Hassan Rouhani arrived in New York's John F. Kennedy Airport on Sunday to attend the 73rd session of the United Nations General Assembly. This was the first time President Rouhani's plane touched down in a rainy New York to attend the annual gathering of world leaders. He pointed to the change in weather while addressing the change in U.S. behavior. This year, the climate is somewhat different from past years because the United States has violated many of its commitments under international law, including the Iran nuclear deal. So this is an opportunity to elaborate on and address those violations. Our goal is to outline the Islamic Republic's policies regarding the Middle East and the world during the international platform. Aside from back-to-back -back bilateral meetings with world leaders and the UN Secretary General, the Iranian president has a packed schedule, which consists of a series of events with Islamic scholars, heads of the U.S. media, as well as television appearances. The Iranian president's trip comes at an important time for the country's diplomatic endeavors. President Rouhani is scheduled to address the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday, September 25th. President Rouhani will also deliver a speech at the Nelson Mandela Peace Summit on Monday. He is accompanied by Iran's Foreign Minister Zarif and other high-ranking officials. He will be in New York for four days and three nights. However, Iran's Foreign Minister Zarif will stay in New York after the president's departure for a series of meetings and discussions on Iran's foreign policy, including the future of the Iran nuclear deal. Susan Madaris, Press TV, New York.